this video is going to be about my hair and what I use and any tips for how to keep your hair long and how to get it to grow longer. I use Frederick Mackay shampoo and conditioner. I've only been using it for like a year or two. It's expensive, but it works, and I've never used any shampoo or conditioner that works like Frederick Mackay does. Um, and it just, it detangles my hair. You know when you get out of the shower and you comb, I know you're not supposed to comb your hair wet, but I use like a pick, and it just, you know, it tangles and you can't comb it. With the uh, shampoo and conditioner I use, it, it just goes right through. So it detangles, it smells good, it makes it soft, and it makes it a little bit straighter, and I love it. So I really, although it's like a little expensive, I can't, I can't not use it. So when I start doing my um, hair when it's wet, I put argan oil in it at the ends. I love argan oil, it's changed my hair, um, really. It, just try it. It's a little expensive I think too, but I really think that it's great. And then I will usually let my hair air dry. I don't blow dry it um, dry because it takes way too long and my hair is really thick so it just takes way too long. And um, I don't like to have that much heat on my hair. So I used to actually put um, uh, a heat protectant in, the Chi 44 Iron Guard, and I used to like be, you know, I used to swear by that and I used to always use it and always coat every strand of my hair. And I just stopped using it one day and it doesn't, I mean, I think my hair is a lot smoother because of it. So I don't use heat protectant anymore. Um, I think if I blow dried my hair every day, then I would. But I straighten it pretty much two or three times a week or four times a week. So, and usually there's only like twice that I actually go, you know, from root to end. But, you know, in between I'll sort of just bring it back to life. So I'll let it air dry and then I will, you know, section it off and straighten it and um, sort of make it wavy if I wanted to. Um, a lot of people want a hair tutorial on how I get my hair wavy. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll try and think of how I can do it, but it's pretty easy, it just takes a lot of practice. Now for the question about long hair. Um, this is controversial because um, hairdressers will tell you the exact opposite of what I'm going to tell you, um, but I find that I have the experience and the results to back up my claim, so um, I don't know, take take what you want, Don't I don't swear by anything, um, I'm not a professional, but I literally, based off of my life and my hair, I can tell you that this is what it works for me. So um, people always ask how I get my hair to stay long and all that stuff and they're trying to grow their hair out and um, I don't cut it very often. I know a lot of people are freaking out right now and they're like oh my gosh you have to get your hair cut every this amount of weeks and you have to get the split ends away or else your hair won't grow and all this other stuff and I'm telling you I literally just don't cut it very often and it has it just grows and I'm telling you people always ask me how they you know how they can get their hair long and if someone tells you to cut it you're never going to get the length that you want so even if you go in you know to cut off uh, you know an inch or two off the bottom you're going to be making your hair shorter an inch or two and it's constantly going to be cut at the same spot so you're never going to actually get it to a length that's you know the length that you want because people are constantly going to be bringing it back up here bringing it back up here, bringing it back up, bringing it back up. So you're never going to get the results you want if you keep cutting it. Even if it's a little bit, it's still bringing it back up. I've had long hair for a very long time, and my hair grows pretty fast, so that's another thing, but um, really, just don't cut it. Like, see how long you can go without cutting it. People say that you'll get split ends or whatever, and if, if your hair is like noticeably gross in the bottom or something, then fine. But I find that I don't, I don't know if it's just me or what, but I can't tell if someone has split ends or not, and I'm not looking, so I think that's a good thing also. I don't know why people would look around for split ends on people. But yeah, just don't cut it. Get the length you want, just let it grow, keep letting it grow, even if you do have split ends, you know what? Just let it grow, and then finally when you get the length that you want, you can cut off an inch or two of those split ends, and it'll already be at the length that you wanted it to. So it's a process and it takes a while, but I'm telling you, if you keep getting it cut, an inch, you know, or whatever, then it's never going to be the length you want. Now I know that goes against a lot of people's, I guess, hairstylist um, advice, and they'll tell you that you have to cut it, but hey, they're getting paid for it, so keep in mind that they're making money off of how many times you cut your hair, and um, I don't know, I find that it doesn't, it doesn't help if you keep getting it cut. It helps your hair to be healthy, but it doesn't help your hair to grow, 
And I've heard people say that if you cut it at the bottom, you know, if you keep sort of getting it cut with the dead ends and stuff, it will grow faster, which is not true because your hair grows from the root, not from the ends, so that doesn't make sense either. But then they say, well, it's because your hair will look longer because it'll be healthier. So if you have long hair, if it's just dead hair, it won't look as long anyway. I've never had that problem, and I've never seen someone with, like, very randomly sparse hair just, like, from here down. So, I mean, obviously the hair down here is not going to be as strong as up here, but I would say it's not going to, like, I really don't think that if you get your hair cut frequently, it's going to grow faster. And also just based off the fact that it grows from here, not from here, and also based off the fact that I never notice anyone, like, who has, you know, noticeably dead hair or whatever. So that's my advice. Um, I know that some people are going to be very angry at that. But you know what? It's hair. Who cares? If someone wants to do it their way, then let them. It's it's just hair. It doesn't matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other hair questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. And that's it. Bye.